My name is Kelly Herbig. I'm a virtual content specialist for special education, social studies grades three through five. And today I'm gonna to show you how you can use a really cool Google Chrome extension. It's called Turn Off the Lights and it helps your students stay focused on a video that you're playing for them during a virtual lesson. So Turn Off the Lights is a Google Chrome extension that helps students focus in on the video you are playing for them. It works to get rid of all the distractions that are on the side of the YouTube page or the Vimeo page or whatever it is that you're playing the video from. So why would we use this Chrome extension? First and foremost, it supports students with attention needs. It helps them kind of zoom in on the video that you want them to watch. So on that note, it minimizes distractions. It gets rid of all the stuff on the side that can potentially attract their attention when you would rather have them watching the video. It also supports attention and focus, not just for students with attention needs, but for all students. And it also helps virtual lessons run smoother because you have to worry less about putting the video in full screen and then exiting out and then finding the Zoom again, sharing your screen to the presentation again. So it really just makes things run a lot smoother. So today I'm going to show you how we can use this Turn Off the Lights um, Chrome extension to support a lesson from the Grade 5 Unit 3 United States Case Study Curriculum. In this lesson, students, as you can see, watch a video called Writing Ninjas, How to Write a Five Paragraph Essay. So I'm gonna show you how you might play that video in a lesson using this Google Chrome extension to support. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Turn Off the Lights. And I'm also gonna show you how to use it when displaying a video. So let's get started. The best way to find this Google Chrome extension is simply by searching it on Google. So I just typed in turn off the lights Chrome extension. And I'm going to go ahead and click search. It is usually the first thing that comes up, but just to make sure, look for the web address that says chrome.google.com. And it should look a little something like this. So this is the Turn Off the Lights Chrome extension. You can scroll down here to get more information. And to install this extension, you're just going to click Add to Chrome. It's gonna ask if it can read and change all your data on the websites you visit. You're just gonna to wanna to click Add Extension. That's just allowing it to work. So once you click Add to Chrome, this web page comes up, which gives you a little quick overview of how it works, but I'm also gonna show you exactly how to use it. And this will just pop up here to let you know that it's been added to Chrome. So what we're going to do to make it easy to access is we're going to click this little puzzle piece icon when you click this puzzle piece icon, it shows you all the extensions that you've added to Chrome. We're gonna find the one that says turn off the lights and then we're gonna click the pin button. That's gonna make us have easy access to it right up here in the toolbar. It's the one that is the little light bulb. So now that it's installed, I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can use it to play a video. So here we are in the lesson. And here is the link to the video that's included. Let's say you wanted to play this video for your students. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the link so that it pops up. Grammarly is your personal writing assistant for clear emails, confident messages. And here it is on the YouTube homepage. But as you can see, we have a lot of distractions over here. We have these videos, we have the comments down here. So what we're gonna do to make this easier for students to focus is we are going to simply turn off the lights. Watch what happens when I click the Chrome extension. 
So as you can see by clicking this button right here, it dims the area around the video. So this Chrome extension is really great because it senses where the video is and it dims everything around it, which makes it easier for students to focus in on the video that you're showing them. Let me just show you what this would look like on a different website so that you can see how it can work on different websites. So let's say I wanted to go to Vimeo and I wanted to play this video right here. Once it starts playing, I'm just gonna click the icon again. We use the term westward expansion all the time, of course, in American history. And, and you can see how it dims everything but the video. So it really puts a spotlight on whatever video you're sharing with your students. And it also means that you don't have to click the button that expands it out. You can just keep yourself right in the browser and easily click back and forth between the videos that you're playing and the lesson. So overall, Turn Off the Lights is a really nifty Google Chrome extension. It helps makes video playing while remote teaching run a lot smoother not only for you, but for your students with special needs. It really helps them focus in on the video that you're showing and it lessens any distractions that could show up on the side of the web page. But it also can make your life so much easier as you're playing videos and lessons, knowing that you can just stay right in the browser and that you don't necessarily have to click out to expand the video to make it easier for students to see. So I hope that this introduction to this Google Chrome extension was helpful and that you see this as a tool that you could potentially use in your classroom.